Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using the Gunmetal Stack from Melt Cosmetics, as well as a few other shades from them to do a gunmetal eye look. I'm starting out with Electric Eye Primer from Concrete Minerals, just to kind of set the base for everything. I apply this all over my eyelid as well as underneath. To set the base, I am going to use Classic from Milk Cosmetics. This was in the rust stack and now it is sold individually. I'm going to apply this all over my lid and underneath my eye as well, anywhere that I put the primer. I like this shade a lot. It has kind of a off-white yellow tone to it, so it does a really good job of canceling out any darker tones or any veins or anything like that on the eye. Next I'm going to be taking the gunmetal stack, Assimilate is the first shade I'm going to use from this stack and I'm just putting it right in the crease. I am using a very light hand for this, Melt Cosmetic shadows are very pigmented so I prefer to go in lighter and then deepen it up as I would like instead of going in really deep and then having to find a way to lighten it up. This shade is awesome. I think this might be my favorite from this stack. I know it's the only matte one, but um, it's just a really nice taupey brown, kind of reminds me of cocoa. It's just a really beautiful color, and it's even more blendable than the matte shadows in the rust stack, so I found that to be pretty amazing. Next I'm taking the shadow Fixated from Milk Cosmetics. This was in one of their non-vegan stacks, I think the Love Sick stack or something. But now it's sold individually and this shade is vegan. It's kind of a nice like pewtery blue color. I really like it. I feel like it's very unique and I felt like it complemented the gunmetal stack very well. I wanted to use all the shades in the gunmetal stack but also kind of show you some of the other shadows from Milk Cosmetics that I really enjoy. I'm just putting this on the outer third there, um, deepening it up, again going in very with a very light hand and then adding as I need because these are very pigmented. Next I'm taking Industrial which is also from the Gunmetal Stack. This is probably my other favorite shade from this stack and I'm just pressing it all over my lid. And I want the most color payoff so I use a small little flat brush but honestly these are so pigmented you really could use any brush and I think you would still get a very high impact look. I'm now taking Assimilate again and I'm going in the inner third of my lower lash line. I'm using a short kind of shader brush to do this. I'm now taking Fixated again and I'm going on the inner third of that lower lash line with the same brush. Trying to blur the lines between the two shades. And now take industrial and use that on the outer third of the lower lash line. And I'm taking a black eyeliner from Over Cosmetics and just um, lining my lower lash line. I'm making a scary face while I do it. Now I'm taking the Trooper Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D Beauty and going right along my lash line, trying to stay nice and tight. It's kind of easy with this just because it is basically like a marker. And then I'm also going to extend this into a wing. And I initially started off with a little tiny wing, but I couldn't resist going a little bit bigger.
Now I am taking a simulate again and just bringing that up through the crease a little bit higher because I wanted it a little bit smokier than I had initially done. Now I'm taking gunmetal from the gunmetal stack and I'm going all over that eyeliner that I just placed down. I just kind of wanted sparkly eyeliner and I wanted to be able to use all the shades in the stack. So this is how I incorporated gunmetal. Taking a little on the outer corner. Now I'm taking Harsh Stone White from the Gunmetal Stack and I'm highlighting my brow bone in the inner corner. This is an intense white. I know it's called Harsh Stone White, so I should have known, but it was like a little too intense for me when I first did it. So I took Classic again and went right underneath it to kind of tone it down just a tiny bit. Um, but if you want that harsh stone white in the inner corner, I mean, go for it. Now I'm taking Dream Big Mascara from Pacifica Beauty. I usually use this in every single tutorial, so I don't think I need to give you the whole spiel about it. Now that completes the eye look. And then for a lipstick, I use Mess Around from ColourPop, which is an ultra satin lip. I love those. I think they're the cheapest, best, uh, vegan kind of liquid lipstick you can get. They are not transfer proof, but I, they really do stay all day long and they're really comfortable. And this was just a kind of taupey color. It reminds me of a Simulate, so I felt like it matched well. And this completes this look. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I would definitely recommend picking up some Melt Shadows. And definitely the Gunmetal Stack is 100% vegan and 100% worth it.